Namaste, and welcome to the first installment of my YouTube channel, Abstract Random Brian. Thank you for being here. Have you ever been harassed by a swarm of bees? Well, I have, and it's no fun, I'll tell you. Spirit has been after me uh, for the past few years, certainly in a lot more pleasant manner than the bees, but no less relentlessly, to write a book. Well, already you, you, you can imagine my overwhelm. The spirit bees have finally won, and I'm doing it. I have to thank my friends for encouraging me to get off the pot and just do it. Well, more on that later. My clients know that I don't coddle myself, and so d no one expects me to enable their codependencies either. At this very time, we are experiencing the most revolutionary universal change in history called the Ascension. Only the strong will endure, and only the courageous will gain the prize. Just stop watching right now if you're not committed to our total victory over the darkness. There's too much at stake in this present hour to pussyfoot around. And I'm not catering to anyone's indecisiveness, doubts, or fear. If you have the attitude to win, keep listening. Otherwise, go find comfort elsewhere. I'm going to do all I can to be a help to your personal ascension and the ascension of the planet. Abstract Random Brian is, as you will certainly find, completely appropriate because my interests and inspirations are all over the place. Well, here are some of the topics I feel led to discuss. I am a reluctant psychic. I'm also a tarot reader, healer, massage therapist, reflex, let me say that again, reflexologist, and intermittent medium. Just wait until you hear the story about my near-death experience and how a deceased horse gave me a message for his bereaved owner. <laughs> Just try to start that conversation. Also, I have been a church pianist organist and choir director for over 50 years. Boy, just let me tell you about the church, and I'm going to. I've been a lyric tenor, uh, soloist, opera singer, performer all over the world since I was nine years old. Music, especially singing, has taught many important lessons. Just wait until you hear about my Russian vocal coach, from Moscow University. Oh, gospel do. Mm. Gardening has intrigued me for over 60 years, and I haven't got one blade of grass on my property, only gardens. Herbs, flowers, and veggies, oh my, there are lots of lessons there. I feel very strongly that we need to learn to grow our own food. Working with the poor, the indigenous, the elderly, and mentally tortured, especially when I was a pastor, school teacher, and geriatric recreationist, taught me tons about the human condition. I've concluded that we truly decide where we are in life. We, as little fragments of God, the universe, source, creator, whatever name you choose, bring everything around us into being. And I mean everything. The law of attraction is very real. My greatest joy is my love for cats and having rescued 102 tiny babies. Uh, you know, bottles, butt wipes, baths, and burping included, I have come to realize that the animals are just as important as we are. 
It is when we treat all the fur babies in the world with respect and love that mankind will truly be ready to ascend to a higher fifth dimensional form. And yes, I am vegetarian, by the way. The environment is not a thing. She is an actual being with feelings just like we have. I love and respect our mother Gaia and show that love by my actions. I recycle, I donate to thrift stores, I compost, selling my truck, bicycling, walking, recycling, reusable bags, organic gardening, boycotting GMO products, refusing certain medicines, growing veggies and flowers instead of grass, standing up to tyranny, and erecting a, heath, a healing pyramid for the planet, and so forth. Flowers are not only beautiful and uplifting to see, but they also heal. My fallback uh, position um, has always been being a florist, and it has served me well for over 44 years. I would just love to show you how to make beautiful flower arrangements and how to take care of your house plants. Well, let's get back to the bees. Spirit, through psychics, friends, healers, and other YouTubers, has been relentlessly encouraging me, really pestering me, to share my experiences on a wider platform. The thought of writing a book has really scared the bejeepers out of me. Okay, it scared me shitless. My personal psychic assured me that my spirit guides would dictate everything to me and it would be no sweat. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. My lack of experience plus my personal insecurities kept me from getting off the dime for years. I was inspired by my friends to go in another direction. Hey, Brian, start a YouTube channel like we did. And I got thinking, if each vlog could be transcribed and edited, voila, I'd have a new chapter to my book each time I did it. It's kind of like eating an elephant. It's impossible all at once, but you can finish that sucker off one bite at a time, right? Anyway, whether this venture is successful or not doesn't really matter. Number one, I would have been obedient to my guidance. Light received brings more light. Light rejected brings darkness. That's a sobering thought. Number two, um, when I teach, I learn more. And simply put, codifying my experiences will emphasize and crystallize the concepts more indelibly in my mind. Really, this is about me and my growth. But number three, if I can inspire you, teach you something, encourage you in your spiritual walk, show you how to grow tomatoes, help you resolve to adopt a pet from the shelter, if I could be a, a comfort to your hurting heart, etc., then hallelujah, amen. I'm all in for it. My life's purpose has always been to help people and animals and the environment in practical ways. Number four, what if nobody is watching? What if there's no interest? Like I said, this is for me. I'm attempting to jump a great personal hurdle. I know that this channel is not for everyone. I do have an inkling that it will be for some people. Whether two or two million subscribers, the point is, is that I did this. Number five, 
I know that I'm not that pretty to look at. <laughs> I've done years of TV performances, uh, video church services and concerts. It always sounded great. But I always hated to see myself on video. <laughs> Someone dared me to do drag once, and I won a sizable first prize as a party because nobody thought I'd have the guts to do something like that. That's quite a story for another time. But there are three reasons why I'll never do it again. Bras, pantyhose, and high heels. Girls, what you go through to be beautiful astounds me and has earned my lifelong respect. Besides, I am not a pretty woman either. <laughs> I'm putting aside my personal stuff and wearing my big boy pants. We are in a conflict, a spiritual and informational conflict. I offer my light as imperfect as it is, to publicly show whose side I'm on and to help our collective heal and ascend. I love you all. So I'm getting out of the way and trying to be useful. My victory is in putting action to my words, practicing what I preach. Phew, I got over the first hurdle. I did it. Now I have to make video number two. Again, I love you and hope to be of encouragement to you. Thank you for giving me the gift of your time. You are not alone. Namaste.